Right, so we're going to start sitting back on heels. And I'm going to, yeah, just sit back on your heels if that's comfortable. For some people on their knees, that's not going to be so comfortable. You can always have a cushion between your bottom and your heels. And bring your hands onto your knees, onto your thighs. And we'll begin by doing some little circles with the head. So if you were here yesterday, you might have an intention that you're working with this week. Now is always a good time to just recap on that. Of course, our, our monthly theme is raising the vibe, but I think that should just be our theme for 2021, actually. And then switching direction, circling your head the other way. And just noticing all the information that you get with these head circles. And your body gets to talk to you. Well done, coming to centre. We're going to bring, bring your hands to the floor, tuck your toes under, sit back on your heels, so a little bit of fire toes. Great way to start the morning. Let's inhale, reach arms up, and then take a nice big circle out to the side as you exhale. Inhale as your arms come up, fold your elbows, holding on to either elbow. And take a little side stretch in either direction. Just notice which hand is on the top. Both hands will actually be on the top, but there's one sort of dominant hand on the top because you're going to do the opposite way in a minute. And then stretch your arms up and take some circles. Exhaling as the hands come down, inhaling as the arms come up. And then folding the arms again, this time the other way around. There's one way that's less instinctive, you just find that. And again, take a little side stretch in either direction. Letting our diaphragm know that we're awake now. And there's some movement required of it. Bringing your hands to the floor. As your bottom lifts, you can flatten your feet and tap the tops of your feet on the floor. And that just takes out any stress from the feet. Sit back on your heels again and let's circle our wrists. In either direction. Maybe do a little bit of a break, hand, a break dance arms. Just because it's fun. And take your hands around behind your back, interlink your fingers. Press the arms away as you inhale and look up, breathing into the front of your chest. And then releasing your hands, take your arms forward, interlink your fingers, press your palms ahead of you, drop your chin to your chest, back of your heart stretches. and then coming back to centre. So any balance sequence is really about foundation, grounding, connecting to the earth. And as I've mentioned before, the more you ground and connect to the earth, the higher you can lift. So the two really do go together. Bring your hands to the floor, tuck your toes under, and let's come into a little gentle down dog. Keep the knees really bent first thing in the morning, first down dog of the day. Let the spine lengthen. And now at this point, we've got four points of contact with the earth. You've got the hands and the balls of the feet. So just deliberately press them down into the ground. Allow them to become heavy. Fingers are wide apart. Ears are lining up with arms. And then slowly start to let the tailbone elevate as if it's attached to a helium balloon. And let's enjoy a few breaths here. Heels are high up off the floor at this point. It's almost like you're levitating, except that the hands and the balls of the feet are like sandbags holding you down. And then exhale, draw the heels down to the floor as if you were throwing anchors to really keep you grounded. So that hot air balloon can't quite take off. And breathe here. And let's let our feet have a nice 
warm up. So bring the heels up high, drop the heels over to the right, turn your gaze to the left. Couple of deep breaths here. We're breathing through the nose, a nice ujjayi breath. You can probably hear the sound of your breath and hopefully you can feel the movement of the breath through the throat. You know, it can be easy to slip into a very nasal breath, I do. So try to keep it in the throat if you can. Heels come up high. And then heels over to the left, gazing to the right. Inhale as you come back to center. And again, dropping the heels down through the middle. One more variable. Let's take top of the right foot, place the top of the foot on the floor, bend the knee and draw the knee in towards you so you get a nice stretch down the front of your foot. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Waking up our feet to give us a really strong and alive foundation. Okay, so we're gonna go into a bias, bias movement, a cross movement with, down, with this um, sequence. And it might fry your brain a little bit. Just go, bear with me and see how you go. Inhale, reach the right leg up high. Nice three-legged down dog. See if the left heel can drop a little closer to the floor. Take a couple of breaths there. As you inhale, look forwards, bring the knee in towards your chest, and then plant the foot just next to the left wrist. And then you're going to drop the left knee down. So you're on, it's almost like you're on a tightrope actually. The right foot and the left leg are in line with one another. And then from here, this is where you get to be a little bit wobbly perhaps. Inhale, reach your arms up. So we're talking about balance and how that changes according to our foundation. Exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Lift that back knee. Step the left foot behind the right hand. So you're kind of getting your feet parallel to one another, little toe to little toe. They will be apart. Inhale as you look forwards and exhale as you fold. So it's a very unfamiliar range of movement, which means neurons have to travel in unfamiliar paths, and that can feel quite challenging. Okay, keeping the feet where they are, take the arms up, inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold into a forward bend. Inhale, look forwards. And exhale, step the left leg over to the right hand corner. It's completely like your plane twister. Drop the back knee. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, take your hands to the floor. And this time the right leg steps back all the way to the left hand corner. So you'll notice my hips are quite high. Here, that feels better for me than coming down too low. On the next inhale, look forwards, let the hips drop forwards as you take a, a variation on an up face dog, but it really isn't very much like it at all. Just go where your body will let you go. Exhale as you come back. Cross legged down dog. Press through the palms. Take some deep breaths. The right foot's going to stay grounded. The left leg's coming up behind you as you inhale. And then as you exhale, the knee comes in to meet your chest. And you press, press oh, sorry, sorry, you bring your left foot in front of your right hand. Drop the back knee. Inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale as your hands come to the floor. Straighten the back leg, 
bring the foot forwards so the feet come together. Whatever kind of variable you can do with that. Half lift as you inhale and exhale as you fold. Inhale as you come all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. How's the balance doing? Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift. As you exhale, this right leg goes to the left hand corner. Drop the back knee down. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, hands to the floor. Left foot goes to right corner. Legs are crossed. Dropping yourself down as if to go into some sort of version of up face dog. Exhaling back. Right leg comes up high. Three legged down dog. Exhale, bring the knee in towards your chest. Place the foot next to the left hand. Let's keep the knee, the back knee off the floor this time. Inhale as you come up into a lunge. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step that right foot alongside the left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up, rolling up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold. Left leg to right hand corner. Inhale, rise. Coming through the lunge. Exhale, hands to the floor. Stepping the right leg over to the left hand corner. Your variation of some kind of up face dog. Down face dog. Left leg rises. Exhale, foot forward. Behind the right hand. Come into the lunge. Inhale. Exhale. Feet together. Half lift. Forward bend. Inhale all the way up. Hands to heart. Inhale lift. Exhale fold. Right leg to left hand corner. Inhale lunge. Exhale, hands to the floor, stepping right foot, sorry, left foot to right corner. Lowering the hips. Exhaling, down dog. And uncross the legs and come back to a normal down dog. And just notice how steady you feel now. And then walk your hands back in towards your feet. And notice how it feels to be in a classical forward bend compared to having the legs crossed. And then walk your hands forwards again, coming back to down dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up. And as you exhale, step the right foot forward between your hands. A nice lunge. How steady you feel now that you're not twisting. And we're going to come from this lunge into half moon pose, playing with balance. So take the weight to your right leg. Lean forwards. Extend your arms out either side of your ears, palms face one another, lifting the left leg. The left hip will want to just roll its way up, so just try to tame it. Try to pull it down towards the earth. Breathe. 
bring both hands to the floor, suddenly you have three points of contact to lean into. A little bit more stable. Lift the back heel, drop the chin towards the chest. Right hip is really working to support you here. Inhale, come back. You can keep your hands on the floor or you can come up into aeroplane, opening your arms wide. Soften the supporting leg. Gently bring left knee up in front of you. Right hand comes across, left hand extends to the side and breathe as you twist. Again, this left hip will want to lift up, it just always do. So just try to draw it down towards the earth if you can. And depending on how you feel, you can stay here like this or you can grab hold of the foot and extend. Vijayi breath nourishing you. Okay, release the leg, bend the knee. Take your hands to your waist, bring your knees together, still standing on the right leg. It's pretty strong at this point. Knees are together, just bring your foot in towards you behind and take your hands round behind your back to catch hold of your foot. The dancer pose, show Shiva's dancing in a circle of fire, that's how this is usually depicted. So Shiva is the central focus of calm amongst a ring of fire and chaos. Release the right hand, take the hand up overhead, thumb and forefinger together, and then gently start to push the foot into that back hand, leaning forwards and extending up through the right arm. You can probably feel how much work the right leg, foot, hip is doing at this point. Coming back to centre, bringing your feet down to the floor together. Oh, it's such a relief. Take a moment to go from side to side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step the left foot back. Sorry, wrong foot. Step the right foot back, bending that front knee. Inhale as you come up into a lunge. Take a moment to just enjoy this really stable lunge compared to those bias cut ones. And then taking your weight into that left foot, you're going to come forwards and up into half moon. If you've got a handy wall, then that makes it so much easier. Otherwise, your arms are either side of your ears, palms facing one another. And the back foot, the toes point down to the earth. Breathing a nice deep breath. Hands to the floor. Three points of contact with the floor that you can lean into. Lifting that right leg high, drop the chin towards your chest. Inhale. Either keep the hands on the floor and look straight ahead, or lift the heart, and open the arms wide. Gently sweep that back leg forward. Knee comes up in front of you. Left hand across to right knee. Right hand extending out behind you. How's your breath doing? And if you wish, you can take hold of the right foot and extend the leg.
And then bending the knee again, come to face the front of the mat, knees square together. Bringing the right heel in towards you. See if you can catch hold of the foot. Do whatever wriggle is needed to make sure that you aren't locked into this, you're in a fluid state. And then left hand rises, thumb and forefinger together. Inhale, and as you exhale, kick the foot into the hand. Gently lean forwards. Deepen your breath. Watch the knee doesn't circle sideways out, out to the side. And then inhale as you come back up, returning to both feet. And let's just take your weight onto the balls of your feet, lift the heels. And then exhale, bring the heels down, lift all ten toes. All ten toes to the floor, lift the heels. Drop the heels, ten toes lift. And then everything to the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up. Let's take a vinyasa to get this flow moving through us. Exhale, forward bend. Half lift. Exhale as you step back. Nice. Dropping the knees or not, take your version of Chaturanga. Either Cobra or Up Face Dog. Exhaling into Down Face Dog. Notice how much room there is when you compare and contrast with the bias version. So let's place the right foot in, the, sorry, the right hand in the centre of the mat. Pick up the left hand, take it across to the right ankle and turn to face the right. A three-legged down dog. And then release, coming back to centre, a four-legged down dog. And then the left hand comes to the centre, the right hand comes to the left ankle as you look to the left. A three-legged down dog. Back to centre. And we're going to walk our hands in towards our feet, coming into a forward bend. And roll your way up as you inhale, bringing your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. And we'll finish with tree and a little bird, variation on tree. So taking the weight to your left foot, lift your right heel. Bring the heel in towards your ankle. That might be good. You might have had quite enough of working those hips. Or you might bring the foot up to the calf. Or you might bring the foot up to the inner thigh. It's entirely up to you. Don't go onto any joints. Don't go to your knee. You want to be on the fleshy part. Bring your hands to your heart centre. Suck everything into the midline of your body. Take a nice inhale. Reach your arms up overhead. And with your arms up overhead, fold all your fingers in except for your index fingers. So it's like you're holding a Charlie's Angel gun overhead. And breathe. Draw into the midline of your body. In terms of balance, this is usually really quite a nice place to balance. If you want to play with it, you can close your eyes. And then release your arms. Take your hands like a plate underneath your right ankle. Keep the right foot square as you place it across on your thigh. So this right foot is square. Inhale, reach your arms up, and as you exhale, come to a seated chair pose. Hear the sound of your breath. Inhale as you come back up. Bring that knee up in front of you, hands to waist. And as you exhale, extend the leg, point it out in front of you. 
Try not to rock back on your heel. Try to keep your core strong. Hear the sound of your breath. And then exhale, hands down. Feet down, rather. Okay. Move from side to side on your feet. And then we're going to take the weight to the right foot, so left heel lifts. Again, these hips, they do love to wiggle, so try to rein them in. Find that midline, suck them in. Foot comes to calf. Perhaps it stays there. Perhaps it comes to inner thigh. For me, this really depends on what clothing I'm wearing and how, how slidey they are. Bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Fold your fingers in apart from your index finger. Take some breaths here in the midline of your body. Perhaps close your eyes. Notice how the thing, the landscape changes very quickly with your eyes closed. You can't be worried about falling over. That would be like not playing the game. Falling over is part of it, like breaking eggs for an omelet. Okay, opening your arms wide. Taking your hands beneath your ankle as you take the foot across. Square this left foot so the heel is strong. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, seated chair pose. Releasing, the arms come down to your waist. Bring the knee up in front of you, steady the hips. Keep them parallel to the earth and extend the left leg out, toe pointing. Hear the sound of your breath. And then bringing your feet back down. Well done, everyone. That was a strong little balance practice for today. Take care. See you tomorrow for some meditation. Namaste.